Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. I wanted to create this video on the SPX intraday trading using highly customized indicators, uh, proprietary indicators rather. So now what you're looking at here is two charts. One is of the ES on the left hand side. We're looking at a five day, five minute and we're looking at Monday's price action, which is yesterday's price action. Uh, started the uh, market started here and uh, the market ended here pretty much uh, started and ended at the uh, you know, around the same level maybe a point or so higher and then on the right hand side what you're looking at is the tick sp so the tick is a uh, measure of the 500 smp stocks and whether they are ticking up or down on, a, on an each stock basis and then it tells you okay so at this time what happened it probably started here it's a red bar the first bar uh, so it probably started at a tick of 137 to the positive uh, and then uh, it ended uh, over here at 60. So it's a red bar and uh, the, the, the next bar starts here and uh, it, it, it goes down further and so it, it even dips into the negative. So this is the tick and it keeps going like that for every uh, five minutes but this is not so useful because this is a very noisy chart. What is useful is if we can combine the cumulative ticks so from the beginning so we're looking at the market internals at this point so once the market starts these ticks start uh, calculating and so what happens after that is if at this point it is uh, let's say it ended here this would be plus 60 and here it ended here this would be minus 71 so at this point the cumulative between these two is minus 11 and over here, if it ended here, it will be minus 5, but it's actually improved from before. So the cumulative tick will be minus 11, uh, minus 5, so, uh, which would be plus 5, uh, uh, which would be about 6, uh, which would still be minus, uh, you know, negative 6. So that's what you'll see here uh, on the tick. This, the tick SPX is a customized uh, proprietary indicator. And uh, this one, it calculates the cumulative tick. So as these ticks goes on, uh, it either adds or subtracts, you know, that particular uh, uh, bar's tick from the cumulative total. And so overall, what this gives you is uh, right through the trading day, it gives you an idea of whether the market internals are weakening or is it strengthening or is it doing both. So in this case, as you can see, uh, the first five minutes or 10 minutes here, uh, it was pretty choppy here as you can see it goes down and comes up and and you can also see the market action is also choppy now remember this is a cumulative total so even though you might see a green bar here it may be a red bar it may be a red dot here because the, this dot actually takes into consideration all the previous ticks before it and so uh, you know as far as the ticks are concerned we really don't get a good signal until you come somewhere here uh, over here you get you start getting a persistent signal of the ticks uh, cumulative ticks weakening now what I have here is a custom RSI indicator also and so this custom RSI indicator is used as a confirmation indicator and whenever it's uh, it, it, it goes below uh, the 60 level and it's going persistently down it is confirming that the price trend is moving down and here this is a market internal trend and that is also moving down so when you see both of these in sync that's when you want to get into the trade so somewhere here you would get into a put trade and you would you, you would write this all the way all the way up until here perhaps because you you don't want to get shaken out by one uh, one green tick in, in the middle of red if there's one that's fine but if there's two then it's time to get out so here for example we would have gotten in on this bar so this would be approximately 28.99 and then we would have rode it all the way um, and until here which would be about 28.97 or you could have even gotten out even before that uh, especially when you see this guy moving up so you would have gotten out on this bar so which would be about 28.96 28.95 so that's about three four points on the S&P it would be a nice put trade then you move uh, uh, to the other side now as you can see now here we are seeing some bullish action here you can see the ticks increasing and so is the RSI and the RSI is about to go into uh, into the bullish but it never really pierces it there however if you took a trade somewhere here you could have, you, you could probably get out somewhere here uh, not a big trade but still nevertheless it could be a profitable trade 
Then the next one we see is right here. So the second tick is right here. You would get in somewhere here at 2898. And this one goes all the way till here. And uh, you would get out as soon as you see the two red bars and you see the, uh, the RSI coming below the 60. That's when you would get out. And then we have one more trading opportunity right there in the end. As you can see uh, over here, the, the market starts falling. The red ticks are accumulating and uh, the RSI confirms it is weak. So whenever it is in this zone here, you don't want to get out of the trade because this is telling you to stay in the trade. Uh, similarly, on the bullish side, this is telling you to stay in the call position. Uh, this is telling you that you stay in the put position until it starts, it starts to change direction and go. Until then, you want to stay in this trade. So this is what we are going to see today in the live webinar, day trading webinar. Uh, we won't be looking at this because this is not very important. I, I just wanted to uh, give this picture here. But what we are going to be doing is trading based on these signals here. And they're both proprietary indicators. Thank you.